Hey guys, my name is Roy. Welcome back to my booktube channel. Today, I'm just so glad to be doing another sit down video because my last two videos have been reading vlogs and they've been very complicated to edit. So I'm just back to just, you know, talking and that's amazing. I can't wait to do this video because I've been really excited about it. So today we are doing the Do I Have That Book Challenge. And now this challenge circulated booktube like nine months ago. So I'm kind of late on the trend, but I wasn't even on booktube. So I'm not gonna really blame myself, but I thought this was just a fun challenge, even though it is definitely outdated. Um, I'll try to leave the original tag at the bottom but basically what this challenge is is there's like 20 questions and hold up where'd I put the questions okay I'm back um there are 20 different prompts for 20 different books on my bookshelf I tried not to look at this list too much but basically I know like the first one because I had to look at what the questions were so um like the first one was like what's a book with deckled edges and so like I had to find a book I have to find a book that has deckled edges and there's basically 20 different prompts of books that I have to find see if I can find every single book that fits the prompts and yeah it's just kind of like that you you'll get to see what it is when we go through it I'm saying I I I so much in this video but I want this to be truly like a not just an individual thing so please guys play along with me as the questions go make a numbered list in the comments and you know just play along so sit by your bookshelf and see if you have some of the books that fit these prompts it should be really fun this is going to be like my overall grade like this is gonna be my book collector grade like um, I'm gonna basically grade myself with the percentage at the end of how much I got books for each prompt like there's 20 prompts I would need to get like 18 or something to get an A so I'm gonna try to see if I can you know get an A or B on my collection skills but yeah so I think that really explained it um oh and let me actually tell you this something that I've never really shared on this channel actually is that I actually have a second shelf so in this video I'll be like running from that bookshelf to this bookshelf to try to find all the books that'll fit the prompts oh actually and by the way this is actually a second camera angle so I'll have both cameras turned on at the same time so I can just zoom, zoom, zoom. So yeah, I have two bookshelves and I'm gonna be going through, circulating through both, trying to find the different prompts and it's gonna be a really fun video. It should hopefully be a lot shorter than some of my other videos I've been posting because I've been working my butt off on these like 30 minute long videos and it's been really stressful. So hopefully I can have something under 20 minutes for you guys because I know you guys like some of my shorter videos. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Actually, let's kind of I'm gonna play some footage of the announcing the giveaway because that's also something that I did today and so I'll just play the footage over them talking but basically what I did is I had a spreadsheet with all the entries we had 93 I randomized that list I had them like all clumped together with all the entries I randomized the list so YouTube and Instagram entries all got mixed together then I went to a random number generator put 1 through 93 for the 93 entries and ran press randomize and we got to the number 24 or something and at when the stars book collide or something like that won the giveaway so congrats to them and they will be getting a copy of welcome to superhero school and that's pretty much the done with the giveaway but now let's get back to the video let's go straight with it we got 20 prompts to get through in this video so let's go Oh, I also forgot to mention, but we are kind of, um, a lot of people that tried to do this tag tried to, like, do it by a certain time and try to do it really quickly. I'm not going to set a time for myself. I just want to have fun, but I do want to do this quickly. So let's get on with the first prompt. So the first prompt is, do you have a book with deckled edges? And my answer to that is no. Why would I? I don't even really know what that is. And yeah, I just... I don't know what that is, so no. That's my first L already, so this is going off to a great start. The second prompt is, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? I'm going to pull out Never Seen by Shannon Messenger. There are three people on the cover for this. We got Sophie, Keith, and Biana. So for all the KOTC fans, we got... Yeah, we got this for that one. Okay, next prompt is, do you have a book based on another fictional story? Um... Yes. Let's go with A Curse So Dark and Lonely, because I don't know where A Court of Thorns and Roses is, but this is A Court of Th A Curse So Dark and Lonely, and this is actually based off of a Cinderella retelling. Nope, this is not Troy, this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I'm actually about to reread this with one of my commenters, Lily the Book Nerd, I'm so excited for that. Um, next prompt is, do you have a book based- no. The fourth prompt is, do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? A book with a- a- a, a book with a title with 10 letters long. Okay, let's see. Um, this is gonna take me a long time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh.
By the way, guys, I'm looking at, um, I have a book stack that I use my camera. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I found one. So I'm gonna pop a picture on my screen because I'm not gonna dismantle my whole book stack that I'm going on with my camera. But here it is in the Tales of Despero. Actually, no. Yeah, that's not just Despero, it's the Tale of Despero. Okay, I'm gonna go look at my other bookshelf. I'll come back to you guys in a second. I am so scared, guys. I don't, I really don't know. Um, is 10 letters like not common? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are so many 9s, but no 10s. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mocking Jay, we did it. Mocking Jay by um Suzanne Collins. So there you have it, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten letters in Mocking Jay. Let's continue on. The fifth prompt is: Do you have a book with the title that starts and ends with the same letter? Interesting. Okay. Oh, look. Exile. I'm not going to include the Keeper Lost Cities part, but the Exile part starts and ends with E. I found that so quickly. I'm so proud of myself. I was thought I had to go all the way to my other bookshelf for this one. Do you have a six? Is do you have a mass market paperback book? Yes, I do. I'll just pick one that, um, okay, here, I'll just do the first one in the series, which is A Game of Thrones by, da, 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 da. uh, it does not say the author, so, I mean, if you're not gonna advertise the author, I'm not gonna know, oh, George R.R. R. Martin, it's bigger than the title, and of course I don't see that, um, this is a mass market paperback book, I don't know where it will say that, I don't know where it says that, but I think mass mar market paperback books are just basically these really small books, and, like, the pages are so thin, like, they're, you literally can, like, fit this in your palm, like, it's so small, so, yeah, uh, my grandma gifted me all of these for Christmas, so yeah. Okay, now the next prompt is, do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? Easy peasy. Cassandra Clare, The Infernal Devices, Clockwork Princess, Princess. I don't know what her real name is, but her pen name is Cassandra Clare. Cool. That is prompt is fulfilled. Then let's go eight. Do you have a book with a character's name in the title? Yes, I do. Aragon by Christopher Paulini. Aragon is the main character and he's in the title, so that's perfect. And I'm so glad Aragon could fulfill a prompt because Aragon is like one of my favorite books. Okay, nine. Do you have a book with two maps in it? Do I have a book with two maps in it? That, my friend, is a very interesting question. Two maps in it. Okay, let's, I think I might have it in this book, which is the collector's edition of Throne of Glass. I think I might. I think, 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 think. No, that, that was a bust. This does not have two maps. It just has a color map. I don't really know at all. What books do have maps in them? I'm pretty sure that has one map. Uh, Three Dark Crowns has one map. Accord of Mist and Fury has one map. Mm. Darn, I think I was going to my other bookshelf because I don't know. Okay, since there are more books on the shelf, I actually have two possible theories. I want to look through a couple just to make sure... No. Okay, my first theory is going to be with Tower of Dawn because there is a new world introduced in this one and I just want to make sure that there is just one map, so that is not a go. Maybe Air of Fire? No. Nope. 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 Okay, my next theory is Red Wall. Nope, just one map. I think that's the L for me guys on this one. <laughs> Okay, so guys, that is my second loss. I basically guaranteed that I'm not going to get an A on this, but we'll see how far we can do. Um, I don't really, I really don't think I have a book with two maps, so let's just move on. Ten, do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Hmm. Do I have a book that was turned into a TV show? Oh, oh, um, I'll just pick one of the Game of Thrones ones, whichever one I want. I'll just do the second. I don't know if this is the second one. Hopefully it is the second one. But yeah, A Clash of Kings by George R.R. R. Martin, which is the second book in the Game of Thrones. I assume that this was also turned into a TV show along with the first one. I don't really know. But yeah, it's a Game of Thrones. See, yeah, look, Game of Thrones, a new original HBO series. So I'm going to say I, that counts because Game of Thrones...
Okay guys, so I have completed half of the prompts, so it is halftime show. I have finished the whole first page of prompts and I got only two wrong. So this is shaping up to be a great start because I, again, have the books more than I don't. And I feel really accomplished to myself. Like if y'all want to play down in the comments with me, I would love to see like what you guys have for each prompt. That'll be actually really fun. And hopefully I can include that in the beginning of the video, but please do play along. That's my halftime thoughts. I'm having a lot of fun with this and I cannot wait to see what happens next. So let's just jump on straight with my next one which was 11 do you have a book written by someone who was originally famous for something else so like a celebrity athlete pol politician tv personality i have no idea marine johnson lisa mcmahon i don't think i have this guys actually oh Mm, my camera just fell down over there. Anyways, I'm gonna just keep on rolling with it. I don't think I have anything on this shelf. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, let's look. I'm not sure, but sorry my bookshelf is a mess. I'm taking books out and it's like making everything wrong. Um... I mean, if you consider 400,000 subscribers famous, I don't really know, but Christine Riccio wrote this book when she had like 400,000 subscribers. Yeah, it says Christine Riccio's, but it says Christine Riccio's Pull and Bananas Books YouTube channel has more than 400,000 book loving subscribers. If that's not famous, I don't know what to tell you because I mean, anyone would consider 400,000 subscribers famous. Ugh, I am so freaking glad that Christine Riccio could come through with that win. So now we don't have to lose another point because I would be very mad if that happened. So next one is, do you have a book with a clock on the cover? And I think I do, cause this is called Clockwork. This book is called, like the series is called Clockwork. Oh no, 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 no. These books technically have like little clockwork angels on them if you see at the top, but they're not clocks. But underneath them on this bookshelf, I have Legacy by Shannon Messenger, which has a giant clock on the top of the cover. So, ha, joke's on you. <laughs> okay, next one is 13, do you have a poetry book? Why you gotta do me? Why you gotta do me like that? You know I don't like poetry. Okay, I might, I'll go look. I really don't think I do, but we'll see. Um, yeah, this is not looking promising already. That's a big no, I don't have any zero poetry book. I lost my third point. Gosh darn, this is so upsetting. Okay, let's hope I get the rest right. So next is, do you have a book with a award stamp on it? Of course, I, I mean, who doesn't have an award stamp on it? Um, let's just look at the bottom row. Is, I think this is an award on it. Nope, that's not an award. <laughs> nope, that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Scythe has to have an award on it. Yep, of course it does. Um, I don't know if this counts as an award, but... I I don't know, but this looks like to be an award, so there you go. This is an award stamped on it. Next question is, do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? Yeah, I wrote a book, so of course I have the same initial. Just kidding. Um, no, I don't. I don't. E I'm not even gonna look. That's a hard pass because I think I did actually watch some booktubers in the past do this, and I remember I tried to do it along with them, and I did not find anything for that. So I don't, I'm not even try with that. Do you have a book of short stories? Yes, I do. I already know which one I'm gonna pick. I just need to find it. It's one of these books over here. There we go. Um, this is, let me go on the other side of the camera, but this is Louis Shazar's Sideways Stories from Waywood's Wayside School. It's basically just a bunch of stories at this school. And like you said, Sideways Stories. So there's a bunch of little ones in there. Like basically, uh, yeah, there's all these different stories. Like this, this isn't chapters. These are all different stories. So yeah. Okay, I'm like literally so happy right now. Like I am actually getting these. And even though this is like a two year old book, I still technically counts. So let's look for the next one. 17, do you have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages long? Uh, you don't, that's so annoying. I have to look for a book that is exactly between 500 and 510. I know I probably have something, but it's gonna take me a while to find that. You gotta be joking. Wait, this has 500. 22. Oh, no, 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 no. Everything's ruining, everything's ruining. This is gonna take me ages to find. Let's look at Truly Devious. 416, not even close. Uh, what about Unwanted's Quest, Dragon Bones? Okay, not even 400. Um, 
Three Dark Crowns? No, I don't think so. Because I remember rating this, and this is not... Yep, not even 400. Okay, my judging skills of, like, trying to guess is... An, I'm just way off. Okay, let's look at the Rune of Kings. Nope. This is too much pages. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Guys, you didn't tell me that my books were falling over. Oh, 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 oh. Let's look at some of these. Infernal Devices... 477, so very close. Um, number two. Let's look at number two. There's so many... Okay, 497... 499, 500, this is 500 pages. Yes, this is exactly 500 pages. Okay, let's go. Do you have a book that was turned into a movie? Well, duh, every single Harry Potter one was. Um, I'm gonna go with my favorite Harry Potter one because it's my favorite book and my favorite movie, but Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This was turned into a movie. Okay, my book stock that I have like all my finished books are is totally falling over. 19, do you have a graphic novel? Kill me now, please. Okay, this this video really do be exposing my like book diversity, like what I like to read because I don't have any graphic novels. Um, or at least I don't think I do. Let me quickly take a peek at my other bookshelf. I really don't think I do. I'm just gonna take the L because I really don't think I do. So let's go on to the next one. So that's four questions wrong so far. Do you have a book written by two or more authors? Uh, yes, I do. I just don't know if I have one in here. I'm gonna go get my other one that I had in mind. All right, last one for the win is Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson, Robin Wasserman. So, guys, you heard it right there, guys. The last prompt I fulfilled, and I'm actually really excited to read this book. I haven't read it yet, but. The challenge is, do I have that book, not have I read a book? So yeah, let's go bring this over and let's end the video. Okay, so that concludes this fun, just like really fast, kind of frantic, like book snagging all over my room. It was really fun. I had a great time doing it and we'll kind of go through the books, but first I want to lift both stacks. I'm not, first I want to lift both stacks. I'm not, you've got to be kidding. I always drop my books and then they topple over like dominoes because they really do be like that. And now I lost the order that these were in. But anyways, so here's the first set of, these are, is 11 through 20. I, I probably should have done 1 through 10 first. These are the 1 through 10 books and those were the 11 through 20. So let's go quickly through every single prompt again. Such in a mess right now, but let's just quickly go through all the prompts again and wrap up this video because it do be kind of late. It's 9.20. The first prompt was do you have a book with deckled edges no i don't second is do you have a book with three or more people in the cover bam do you have a book based on another fictional story a curse so dark and lonely do you have a book with the title 10 letters long mocking jay do you have a book with the title that starts and ends with the same letter exile do you have a mass market paperback book yes do you have a book written by an author using a pen name cassandra claire clockwork princess do you have a book written with the character's name and the title aragon do you have a book with two maps in it no do you have a book that was turned into a tv show a game of thrones or a clash of kings then next 11 do you have a book written by someone who's originally famous for something else? Booktuber Christine Riccio. Do you have a book with a clock on the cover? Yes, I do. Do you have a poetry book? No. Do you have a book with an award stamp on it? Yes. Do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? No. Do you have a book with the shortest stories? There you go. Do you have a book that is between 510, 510 pages long? This is 500 pages long. Uh, do you have a book that was turned into a movie? Yes, I do. Do you have a graphic and novel? No. Do you have a book written by two or more authors? Yes, I do. So that was a freaking awesome video. I really enjoyed kind of racing to get all these prompts and really thinking and kind of re like organizing myself with all my books because guys I think I don't really understand quite how many books I have like I have so many books and I just don't really process that I think this video did a great job to kind of tell me that anyways this video is getting kind of long for me so if you guys like this video make sure to like this video I had a really great fun time you know like picking out all these books. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So and make sure you hit the like button if you want to see more kind of like bookish challenges in the future or other booktube tags. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want more um, videos like this. I've got a ton of other videos on my channel, guys. If you just want to go click that watch, there's like a watch next part in the description. I've got five other video recommendations for you guys to watch if you are just kind of bored in quarantine. And you know, I just would really appreciate you checking out any of my other videos and subscribing. Also make sure to hit that notification bell because like you can be one of the first to um, kind of enter my videos and comment and get a reply because I do respond a lot quicker if you're like replying the first day and I think that's all I have to say but quickly if you want to see my last actually see my first magical readathon video vlog up there I'm starting a new April reading vlog series and it's causing me to have a new three-day upload schedule so that's all fun okay I'm I'm just really exhausted so let's end this off let's so let's end this off here <laughs>
have a great day. Love you. Happy reading. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll see you guys in the next video on Saturday. Love you guys so much. Bye.